the question. Be sure and uh, watch later on as I reveal the answer, and that'll be 23B. Well, I've got several new things to show you in this uh, video, and we'll see if you can guess what these are. And uh, remember, I do not respond to the comments, but make as many as comments as you want. Favorable ones, I hope. If you don't like it, don't say anything, my mother said. So, uh, and a reminder that please watch some of my videos called What Makes It Work. That's a new series. I'm up to about number five or six, and that's had some popularity. So give that a look. I bought these three items at an antique tool auction a month or two back. And uh, see if you can guess what these are. Now, they're made out of brass or bronze and judging from the deeper color I think that it's uh, bronze and it looks like they've been cleaned up by somebody each end is just a little bit different and uh, there's a bit of copper corrosion on there where it's turned green and they're about 10 inches long so what are those items or I might say what uh, what trade would they be used in I know you're sick of seeing this so I'm not going to talk about it but I'm always interested in the electrical curiosities and I picked this up at a garage sale for two dollars oh fairly recently two weeks ago as a matter of fact and uh, when I bought it it was in this case so somebody valued this thing. They had it in a display case, and I think it hung on the wall. And it's uh, this is real glass, not plastic, so it's been done some time ago. There is a date on the back that says 1962 and some writing, but I can in no way uh, uh, read it, or it's not le legible. But what on earth do you think this item is? It's, it's really neat. I did hook up some low voltage to it, try to make something happen, but... Looks like we got a, a magnet here. Doesn't appear to be a solenoid, just a magnet. Another one here. All kinds of little switch contact points. And this needle. So I'm wondering if it is a part of some type of measuring instrument. It's in perfect shape. It must have been expensive to manufacture. But does anybody recognize this or care to hazard a guess as to what it is? Pretty interesting, isn't it? Here's a pair of tools. It looks something like a pair of pliers, but uh, they're not. They're identical. I covered up the trademark because you would recognize the manufacturer. Spring-loaded and they're made of aluminum. What are they, these used for and what trade are they used in or what hobby? Pretty sure you can still buy these but maybe not made in America. And here's the last item and it's just a piece of stamped steel rather intricate shape has a hex here and a slot and a square hole. And what was this used for? I think you gotta be 65 or 70 to recognize these. My only clue will be that when I was a kid we wore these around our neck with a string passing through here so we didn't lose it. Millions of these stamped out and made. What are they for? So put your guesses in the comments. Hope you enjoy this series and be sure and watch for 23B in a few weeks, which is the uh, follow-up. And uh, go back and watch the other 22 videos in this series. I think you might like them. This is Tubal Kane saying so long for now, and I'll see you in the next video.